The Journey of Fela Kuti, A Musical Career and His 27 Wives. Introduction, often hailed as the pioneer of Afrobeat, was a multifaceted musician and activist whose impact resonates through the realms of music and social change. Born on October 15, 1938, in Abeokuta, Nigeria, Fela's journey was not only characterized by his groundbreaking musical career, but also by his unique approach to life, love, and relationships, which included an astonishing number of wives. This narrative explores Fela Kuti's musical evolution and his extraordinary personal life, emphasizing how both were deeply intertwined. Early life and musical beginnings. Fela Kuti was born into a prominent family. His mother, Funmaleo Ransom Kuti, was a well-known feminist and political activist, while his father, Akinwande Kuti, was a school principal and a church minister. This environment fostered Fela's early interest in music and activism. He attended the prestigious Holy Child School in Lagos before moving to the United States in 1958 to study music at the California Institute of the Arts. In the U.S., Fela was exposed to various musical genres, including jazz, funk, and rhythm and blues, which would later influence his unique sound. He played with prominent musicians and began to develop his own style, blending traditional African rhythms with Western musical forms. Fela's early recordings were primarily influenced by jazz and high life, a genre that combined traditional African music with Western elements. The birth of Afrobeat, Fela returned to Nigeria in 1963 and began to form his own band, Kula Lobitos. However, it was not until the late 1960s that he began to define Afrobeat as a genre. This was a revolutionary fusion of traditional African music, jazz, funk, and high life, characterized by complex rhythms, extended instrumental solos, and socially conscious lyrics. Fela's music became a powerful vehicle for social commentary, addressing issues such as political corruption, social injustice, and the struggles of the Nigerian people. His first significant album, Zombie, released in 1976, became an anthem for resistance. The song critiqued the Nigerian military and the government's oppressive tactics, leading to widespread acclaim, but also severe backlash from the authorities. The album's success established Fela as a formidable force in the music industry and a voice for the marginalized in Nigerian society. Activism and Political Involvement Fela's music was deeply intertwined with his political activism. He was unafraid to speak truth to power, often using his songs to criticize the government and advocate for the rights of the oppressed. In the early 1970s, Fela established the Kalakuta Republic, a commune that served as both his home and a hub for his band and followers. This self-declared republic was a safe haven for those seeking refuge from political persecution, and it symbolized Fela's resistance against the Nigerian state. His activism, however, came at a cost. Fela faced numerous arrests and assaults from the military government, culminating in a violent raid on the Kalakuta Republic in 1977. Despite the trauma and hardships, Fela's resolve only strengthened. His experiences fueled his music, leading to powerful works like Sorrow, Tears, and Blood and No Agreement, which resonated with a growing audience eager for change. Fela's musical legacy. Fela Kuti's influence extends beyond the borders of Nigeria. His music inspired generations of artists across Africa and around the world. Afrobeat has become a global phenomenon, with musicians incorporating its elements into various genres. Notable artists such as Tony Allen, his longtime drummer, and contemporaries like Burna Boy and Wizkid cite Fela as a major influence. Fela's recordings have continued to gain recognition, with several albums released posthumously, including The Best of the Black President and Live in Detroit. His work has been celebrated in documentaries, films, and even stage musicals, most notably Fela, which highlights his life and legacy. The Personal Life of Fela Kuti Fela Kuti's personal life was as colorful and complex as his music. Known for his unorthodox lifestyle, Fela famously claimed to have married 27 women in a single ceremony in 1978. This event was emblematic of his views on love, relationships, and societal norms. Fela often challenged conventional beliefs about marriage and monogamy, advocating for polygamy as a means of expressing freedom and love. Fela's relationships were often marked by passion and intensity. He believed that love should be abundant, and his marriages 
reflected his desire for a communal family structure. Each of his wives, whom he referred to as his queens, had unique roles within the Kalakuta Republic, contributing to the community's vibrant atmosphere. Fela's polygamous lifestyle, however, was not without its challenges. The dynamics among his wives were often complex, with jealousy and competition sometimes surfacing. Despite the challenges, Fela's marriages were characterized by a sense of unity and solidarity. His wives supported his musical endeavors and activism, often participating in his performances and rallies. They became a crucial part of his life, embodying the spirit of his vision for a liberated society. The impact of Fela's marriages. Fela's relationships with his wives were both personal and political. They served as a critique of traditional Nigerian norms surrounding marriage and gender roles. In a society where women were often marginalized, Fela's embrace of polygamy challenged the status quo, empowering his wives to take active roles in their community. Many of his wives became influential figures in their own right, engaging in activism and supporting Fela's mission. The marriages also drew public attention, leading to both admiration and criticism. Fela's lifestyle was often sensationalized by the media, and his relationships became a topic of discussion within and outside Nigeria. He used this attention to further amplify his message about freedom, love, and the rights of individuals to live authentically. Conclusion Fela Kuti's journey was a testament to the power of music as a tool for social change and personal expression. His groundbreaking Afrobeat sound and fearless activism left an indelible mark on the world of music and politics. His personal life, particularly his marriages, reflected his revolutionary ideals and commitment to challenging societal norms. Today, Fela Kuti is remembered not only as a musical icon, but also as a symbol of resistance and empowerment. His legacy continues to inspire artists and activists worldwide, reminding us of the transformative power of art and the importance of standing up for justice and equality. Through his music and life, Fela Kuti remains a beacon of hope and a voice for the voiceless.